This DIY is cut about a third of the way down and leave some space in between your shirt and the neckline. So then it has like this cute little like necklace-ish, I don't know, pattern. I like it like this, but I also love it a little bit more if I just pop the shoulders down like this and then it's like really tumbler and cute and yeah. Uh, you can also just cut off the neckline and make a cute little crop top or just put a little jewel in the middle. Something super simple yet super healthy you can do for yourself and with your shirt is cut off like the end cuffs of your shirt and make little ponytails out of them. It's so simple but it's so healthy because normal ponytails can rip your hair out so if you're going to go for a jog you can use one of these and it won't. To start off my emoji pillow I am cutting out these little hearts with like a pencil and some red fabric that I had from one of my shirts and I'm using this little cookie cutter so it's like more of a perfect heart shape. And now once I have two of those, I'm moving on to my yellow face. So I'm using like this little like cake tray thing that I found and make a more like circly shape. So once I have two of those, I can move on to gluing them together. Uh, the circles do not have to be perfect, honestly, because like once you hot glue it, it's going to be a hot mess. Get it? Hot mess? This is a glue girl. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm going to leave like a little open circle and then I can just turn it inside out and start stuffing up my pillow with some cotton. I finish that I'm gonna glue it together and as you can see my hard eyes are way too big so I'm just gonna quickly like trim them down what I did was I just like took a red marker and I just drew out a heart because I cannot cut for my life but um I cut them out somehow um, then I just glue my hard eyes together and um, yeah well not together but on my emoji <laughs> I'm so awkward. Okay, now I'm taking like this marker and I'm taking a spatula so it's more like a circle shape and just free drawing the mouth. And in the pictures they have like these like colored in like browns and reds and like all these colors in the mouth. So I just shaded it in to get that kind of tone. And there we go. This is probably the simplest of them all, but you can just take a sparkly shirt and like size it down and hot glue it to a notebook or you can make it into a bookcase if a teacher makes you do it. And then that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. If you have a shirt where it has like a saying or a picture or anything on it that you want to keep and look at, you can fold it up or cut it to whatever shape you want. Then you have two options. You can hot glue it to a box and make a sign or you can add it into like the little like slitty thing of a binder. And um, yeah, I, I shoved my in with scissors and it looks kind of cute when you're all done. Now I'm making a cute rug, so I'm going to start by cutting off the back of this purple shirt for a lot of fabric that I can use, and I'm just going to trace out like a flower shape with a red marker just so I can like see what I'm cutting out, because like I said, I'm a terrible cutter. So that's all done, so I'm just going to, you know, struggle and cut that out as best as I can. So once that's all done, I'm just going to take some of my yellow fabric that I use for the emoji and make a middle. Then I'm just going to glue that on down, and once that is all taken care of, I'm just going to stick it on there. Alright, now I'm going to take some white fabric, and um, this isn't really a shirt, but I, it's just some fabric I had on the side, and I think it's kind of like ruggy material, so I'm just gluing my little flower onto that. You can totally use another shirt, but I just wanted mine to be a little fluffier, so I'm just once again gluing this down to my rug, and uh, you can use this however you want, but I think it's perfect for like when you wake up in the morning and you have like that little rug next to your bed with your slippers. Okay, this one's really weird, but take your shirt, turn it completely inside out, and start gluing all the ends of your shirt together. But leave, like, I don't know what it's called, but where your head goes, I guess like the head hole, leave that open, because that is where we are going to stuff all of our stuffing, I guess. So let's just stuff that up. And once that's all taken care of, we're going to glue it together and seal it up. And then, like, I know this is so weird, but, like, that's it. Like, you just throw it on top and then when you lean back on it it's like the perfect size because it's like your size of a shirt and then like it's super comfy and fun. Yeah. By now you probably have a lot of like extra scraps and stuff of like your material so a quick way to get rid of this and also make it useful is to make little strips for homemade waxing like for your legs and whatever so just like cut off pieces of your cloth and then it's like the perfect like type of thing that they recommend for homemade wax. And if you don't know how to make homemade wax, here's a quick little recipe for you. Then you can get your eyebrows back in shape. <laughs>
Have rags on fleek. So here's another hair hack for you. By now, you probably know that hair dryers are not good at all for your hair. They cause split ends and make it all gross. But the perfect hair towel for you is actually a nice cloth t-shirt. Towels aren't always as good either because like, you know, it just rips apart your hair, but a nice sliding gentle t-shirt is perfect. Oh my gosh, we're at one, but there's so many more things you can do with all that fabric, like wiping your nose, or wiping your sister's nose, <laughs> Wait, <I'm doing> something. <laughs> or wiping your cat's nose, or blindfolding your sister and sending her all alone into the woods at sunset, or you know, when you